Welcome back to another NetBeans tutorial. Today's tutorial is basically on custom JFrames. Now, as you can see, I have in front of me our tutorial GUI, which is normally blank or it has a bar at the top or whatever. But I'm going to use a blank one for today because today's going to be an interesting lesson. Um, so now uh, we have a JFrame in front of us, and uh, it's already built up and etc. etc. Labeled it and everything. You can check out our other tutorials on how to do this. And um, basically this JFrame around it Windows has provided so anyway once that is done uh, once they provided this and made this whole operating system etc came with this cool JFrame got your minimize and your close button at the top right and uh, you got your basically a program in the center here what I want to do is I'm gonna remove this this kind of thing here this JFrame layout kind of taskbar shit that there. I don't want that because that doesn't look nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this thing, make a custom one. So I'm gonna show you this. I'm also gonna show you the disadvantages of doing this as well because not everything comes with an advantage. Okay, let's get started. Let me close this up. Open up NetBeans, and uh, here's here's my program. Nothing too program, but anyway, and uh, basically. It's set to absolute layout. I got my background and stuff done, and um, I want to go ahead and remove the taskbar JFrame thing. So I'm just gonna go up here to my bottom left, click the JFrame, right click properties, and you're gonna see a list of properties. And you want to go down to the last bit, and you're gonna see undecorated. This is this is what we want here. This is basically the decoration around it, which is like uh, the JFrame close button, etc. etc. You want to set this to false by ticking the box. Close it, and you can build and clean, clean and build. Sorry, I'm just going to run it quick to show you the magic. Okay, you can see now that this is loaded up. It took me like four hours. You can see now that this is basically looking good here. Uh, there's no there's no JFrame around it and your programs look much different. Like if you had to do a school project or something, your teacher will be really impressed if you do this because um, not not many students know how to actually figure out how to do this. And uh, we're gonna add a little bar at the top here, a little cool X button for your minimize and close. We'll show you how to code that later on. So we're gonna bring this here, our basic GUI into Photoshop and we're gonna Photoshop this up and uh, basically add on a new layer on top of this and make your taskbar for your close and your minimize buttons and uh, let me point out the disadvantages of this you can't drag the GUI as you can see I'm trying I can't even if you put your taskbar there you can't I haven't figured out how to code that yet but um, I will oh here we go anyway um, now that, that that is done uh, after that is done we can basically code our X button here we're gonna make all of that and to point out when you make this you're gonna have less space for your actual GUI and your buttons to go in because we're gonna take up a bit of space here like I think five pixels or so on the top here to make our taskbar so always cater for that so let's get started gonna go into Photoshop now so now that we have this in our well Photoshop I'm gonna go ahead and make this JFrame so I'm gonna go up to where my re rectangular marquee tool is and I wanna go down and get my polygon lasso tool if you don't see it just right click this and you can choose any either one but we're gonna go for the polygon lasso tool so once that's done we've got that select we're gonna zoom in a bit and once I've done that I'll move this around quick and um, uh, I want to make a new layer now, so just go to your layers. Your should be open, mine just customized. And I want to make a new layer above my background layer, of course. And then uh, click to basically the edge of the GUI, but not too much down, like there ish. And hold, see now it's it's all in a different angle. So I want to hold down shift, so it'll immediately make like a straight line. And I'll bring it all the way down here. And then while holding down shift, it's gonna move in increments of 45 degrees and I want to make a 45 degree angle here and move it there now I'm not making a really nice one but I'm just making one to show you so once that is done 
move this down a bit by just bumping the down arrow key that looks a bit good and I want to get my foreground I mean sorry background color to my lightest color or whatever color you want to but I'm gonna go for gray so it matches the GUI and I'm gonna get the lightest color over here which is that click it and control D delete sorry while you select it on layer 1 afterwards you can control D to deselect and you basically have your taskbar now you want to just pump this up a bit so double click your layer 1 and uh, you have an emboss maybe yeah let's go for that and bump up this make sure this is set to 90 so it's straight up I'm gonna bump this up make it cool cause we in the school my little rhyme session so once that is done I'm gonna do a drop shadow uh, make sure the distance is set to 0 bump this up a bit so it's, it's it kind of like sets it apart from the GUI once that is done you can see it looks much better now your programs are going to look like a beast so I'm going to zoom this in to 200% and we're going to make our buttons so now that we have our taskbar done we're going to make our buttons so just click your shapes tool right click it and go to eclipse tool which makes a little circle we're going to zoom this in a bit uh, let's make a biggish one uh, make sure you're holding down select and alt so you get like a perfect circle and a distorted one and we're gonna drag this out to about that big and we're gonna make this uh, a black one and we're gonna rasterize afterwards double click this actually let me make a copy because I'm gonna make two buttons let's move this over and uh, this eclipse one I'm gonna make a uh, cool little bevel and boss sets it apart from something and I'm gonna do the same for the other by just dragging the layer on the top by selecting control and alt click the effects button drag it to the top and I'll both have the same now I can just go ahead and edit it make an X in the middle drop shadows to them drop shadows yeah that looks pretty good now that we both have them we're gonna make them smaller so I just grab the corner of the layer and hold on alt and shift just bring that down size make that a bit smaller get a bit larger Okay, that's done. Okay, now that you see that's a, still a bit big. So you just want to vary with this. Now you can see that I have forwarded my video. So I have basically my GUI done now. I have my buttons at the top. And uh, we're going to code these buttons now. And we're going to take this in back into NetBeans. So let's go do that. I just want to save my tutorials UI now and um, yeah save the PSD in there and make sure you shave, save this as PNG and we can bring it into NetBeans and have some fun with it okay cool now we got this into NetBeans and I have changed my icon for background and what I want to do now is start coding my buttons so I'm going to take a go up to my palette and take a a label, J label, bring it down to my center, make sure this is part of the background layer so you see it. And I'm gonna take up a text and just make this a bit bigger. Like a big. And we're gonna drag this over to the first button. Now you can see obviously net means once you have an absolute layer it just snaps onto certain pixels or X and Y axes. Yeah it's 
kind of select those so you can't like position it perfectly but you can go down to the properties tab and go down to layout and just move this around until you get the perfect um, settings so it's over the button now once that is done we're gonna code these buttons so let's call the first one um, change the variable name to close B and we're gonna change the other one to mini B so minimize and close button now what you want to do is you're gonna right click the close B go to event mouse mouse clicked and the code we're gonna add in here is gonna be a little like so system make sure your syntax is right capital letters and everything system dot exit sorry my dot is not working dot exit open bracket zero close bracket semicolon now that is done uh, we're gonna get the next button which is the minimize button and we're gonna go to event mouse mouse clicked and the code we're gonna use here is this which is this GUI dot set state enter we're gonna set the the width of this I don't know why they say width but anyway uh, I'm gonna say um, start GUI which is my GUI dot iconify once that is done uh, make sure you got your close bracket and then your semicolon and it's going to take this line away quick and then we can basically clean bolt now that it's successfully built uh, we're going to run our program and now that we are running our program you can see that our GUI, -like, GUI looks much better now that we have our custom buttons etc and you can obviously do a better job than I did I was just doing a tutorial to show you how it's done and uh, basically our buttons they work and um, the last step is just to add the the icons for them like um, the hover upon icon so I'm going to click these two by holding control and clicking both of them go down to cruiser instead of default cruiser we're going to go down to hand cruiser and then we can just run our program minimize this for you so you can see and there we go see now as you go over you have our two cool buttons and we can minimize go back up and we can close the program so thank you for watching this tutorial um, it was like a really good tutorial for us we figured it out and uh, we shared it with you and we appreciate a subscribe or a like and a comment if you're willing to a like and a subscribe will be perfect and um, our next tutorial will probably be much cooler than this and my partner is definitely working on it as we speak and uh, thank you for for this um, peace